Hi, this is Jason Aarons with Dimension Data, and uh, today I'm doing some wireless troubleshooting. I've got a laptop here with a built-in uh, Atheros chipset, and uh, basically I want to uh, log into Facebook here. Uh, this laptop is uh, basically came out of Hibernate, and I notice when I try and connect to my wireless ID, it's uh, it's not connecting. So I'm going to try and use NetSH and the uh, network monitor to um, troubleshoot. So it's current time is 10:07 p.m. It's important to take a note of the timestamp. I'm going to wait so that clock turns 10.08, then I'm going to hit connect, that way it's just a little easier looking at the traces as uh, far as uh, timestamps go. So I'm going to wait, so it's 10.07. Network monitor is a free download from Microsoft.com. I recommend a 3.4 or a higher version, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to enable. Uh, actually, I should turn on the tracing first. Uh, so the command here is netsh trace start. Uh, scenario, Wayland, Capture, yes, Report, yes. Uh, some basic settings here. And we're going to put this in a trace file uh, here. So I opened up an administrator uh, command prompt. And I'm going to enable tracing. And you can do a NetSH trace show status. And it would actually show what's uh, what's going on. So the trace is uh, currently running. It's a uh, trace file of C T shoot Wayland issue 01 2111. And uh, it'll pen at maximum 250 megs. And now I'm going to come back over to my wireless. And when it rolls over to 1009, my SSID here is uh, Duke E5, stands for uh, Duke University. And it's a 5 gigahertz connection. The Dookie uh, 2.4. This is connecting back to a Linksys uh, router, you know, just a home uh, access point. Uh, when I connect, I believe it's going to come up and fail. Waiting for the clock to roll over 10 and 9 to make it easier to look in the log files. Unable to connect. And then I can go to Start Programs, uh, Microsoft Network Monitor. I've already got it open. Um, first thing you need to do is enable the parser for uh, for Windows. Um, so basically hit that to set as active. And that's going to enable the uh, Windows parser file to open the ETL file. And uh, when you do a NetSH trace stop, it's going to collect the traces, generate a cab file that's got uh, a lot of data in it. And it's creating a cab file. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and open that file up.
And there is a uh, way to filter these uh, captures. Well, but in short, you can take a look through here and uh, see if we can do an analysis why the uh, connection failed. I'm going to look through this, see if I can dig into what happened. 